everyone. Very nice budget rifle this time. SMK PR900. Very light for what it is. Good for hunting, but it's not too bad for target shooting either. Good if you're on a, on a budget. Very good because the sub 300 quid gun. You know, at the end of the day, you can't get much for that, but this is a lot more. It punches well above its weight. So, yeah, it's uh, start at the back end. It's fixed. That is the recoil pad. A little bit tough, but it's still shoulders nice. Yeah, it seems to be bonded on. It's set up for right hand shooting, but I think it'll be just as comfortable ambidextrous, even though it hasn't got the cheek plate. Seems to work with one of the chaps who I know. Uh, Quite nice checkering, it's pretty deep, but it certainly does what it says, it's checkered, it's for grip, you know, so when it comes to shouldering it, you, know, you do take up a nice eye line with it, and it's, I suppose really it's better than the kind of pistol grip type, they've got more traditional with it, little access there with two screws I believe there for taking the stock off, so yeah, it's bolt action. I've got a K3 Neo on it at the moment, Umarex, so safety, that's a nice button, very definite, and quite a nice two-stage blade trigger, it doesn't make a deal of noise, so yeah, it's uh, certainly proven itself, it is from SMK, but now they're uh, under Snow Peak, I believe, so it's a Snow Peak PR900, and this is the Gen 2, so this one's regulated. You know, the other ones, they're not quite as accurate, but these, for what you're paying. You know, it's, if you're looking for a very nice budget gun, can't really go wrong. You know, it, it, it compares with a lot of rifles that are, do cost more, sort of sub 600. So, I couldn't resist it. I had to put a nice fat carbon fibre shroud on it. You know, so, and that's on a 19 inch or 480 millimetre barrel. 177 this is. Uh, overall length with the moderator is 102 centimetres or 1,020 millimetres. I think that's about a 42 inch, something like that. So it's not overly long and it's really light, surprisingly light in the synthetic stock. Uh, so yeah, you got quite a nice trigger guard to it. Like I said, nice bladed, adjustable trigger. I've put the rail on using the original mounting with a slightly longer bolt, machine bolt. The eight tacticals goes without saying. And uh, you've got the fill port at the front. It's very much like a lot of SMK products that are now Snow Peak or that have been Artemis. It's 200 bar fill. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, or as they call it, 20 MPA. Well, it's, it's double what it is on the PPA pistol. This one. It's double the size of that, basically, and that's a 50. This is a 100. Uh, I've set it up with the uh, hook, 4x16, by 50 fast mount, so they're on the high dovetails because it's a dovetail mount on these. Uh, you do get a, force, a rear sight on it, but I've taken that off because I've gone for the telescopic sight. And there's normally a, a bit of a, it's a screw on kind of flash illuminator, but I've taken that off and I've removed the foresight. So lot nicer lines, easier to handle. So I think I've pretty much covered it all. I'm not 100% sure, but anything you want to know? Oh yes, you get a single shot tray and you get one 10 shot magazine in 177, uh, nine shot, sorry, in 177 and eight shot in 2.2. Two. Let's take it outside, get it on the 20 yarder for this first half of the review and see how we get on for accuracy. Thanks a lot. See you in a bit. Hello again. 20 yarder. I'm mill dotting with this because it's actually set up for 25 yards, uh, 35 yards, sorry, for testing. Magazine goes in easy. Bolt slides in. Everything's definite on them. Safety's a definite. Lovely trigger on it. It's nine shot, 177, and there's a lockout on the 10 shot, so you can't blow any air. So. I'll light them up a little bit. So I'm having to double mill that and I'll go for the centre target. 742. Respectable. 
731. 735. Yeah, the idea being, as usual, when we've done a few magazines, we'll see what's going on. 738. And it is from a full charge. 740 735 733 735 Lockouts come on. This is why I think these will be spanking for any kind of vermin or pest control. Very easy to accommodate your target. Any form of target acquisition. Thank you, John Daniel. And it's pretty damn accurate for what it is, for how much you can get them for. So let's try the bottom one now. 738. That will me. 726. 721. 705. 712, 703, 703, 701, 691. So even though it's regulated, the Gen 2 Victory PR 900, it still gets a little bit of drop off, but it's so easy to adjust for. And that's the end of the second, uh, first magazine, isn't it? So, end of the second magazine, sorry. I'll just have to load one up. I'm too excited. Spin it round, opposite direction to the magnet. Put one in backwards. That locks him out. And away you go. Watch how fast I do this. Today, right. Let's get this whooping. Nice and definite. The magnets took hold. So another magazine full. I'll go for the top one this time. Six hundred ninety-one. Six hundred seventy-five. Six hundred. 80 All right, that's three magazines gone through it. Let's see what's been happening. Safe. <laughs> Put the safety on. All right. 7.42 we started out at. We've ended up down in the 6.45, 6.50 regions on, at the end of the third magazine. It's still 9.6 foot pound. With 20 yards, you can still see it's rattling them off and it's accurate enough. 27 shot count. High 7.42, low 6.45. The average has been 704 feet per second. That's quite respectable. Uh, the spread's been 97 feet per second. Standard deviation's been 30 feet per second. So even though it's quite a high standard deviation, as you can see, it's still pretty accurate. And for as cheap as what these are, they're really affordable. And because of the cylinder situation, they're probably easy to stirrup pump. But obviously, I you are top them up with my little 1.1 weekender but yeah phenomenal little gun at 20 yards for what they cost proper serious budget gun i think comes into that category so yeah i'll see you later because we're going to do part two uh see how we go thanks a lot bye bye right. let's see how we get on at 50 yards then for the pr 900 smk victory I'll go for the centre one first. I can't make any promises. Mm. 
Yeah, it seemed a little bit happy, didn't it? Because don't forget, you're talking a proper budget rifle here. Oops, that was me. I hooked it. Got to be so gentle with it. There we go. There's the odd flyer going on here, even though it's regulated. Accuracy is not too bad at 50 yards. Hmm. Not sure what's going on there. Let's just try something. Okay. Right, that's one magazine gone already. Wow, can have a lot of fun with these for what they cost. And considering I'm at 50 yards at the moment, not overly disappointed for what these are. Right, so it's gone back. Isn't that the craziest thing? Well, make its wind up in a minute. Different. I'm wondering if it's dropping off a little bit here, folks. Don't think it can make its wind up anyway, it is. Um, it seems accurate, but there's the odd, too many flyers. Uh, not so bad on accuracy, but then what do you expect for around 300 quid mark? You know, it depends where you shop for them, but I don't think you're going to have any trouble at 35 yards for a fact, which is plenty far enough. You're talking 70 feet away. You know, if, if you can't hit a rabbit at that distance anyway, but you have, I think you're going to be very productive with this. Given time and practice, you could do all right at 50 yards. Needs leading in, like a lot of them when they're new. So, I think there's room for improvement. So, yeah, it's all right. Not a bad gun. PR 900, Gen 2. All right. See you later. Cheers. Bye.